Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you two different ways to decorate a fake cake, which is basically a styrofoam cake. And yes, these are totally a thing in the cake making world, so stay tuned and hope you enjoy this video. So the first way I'm going to show you guys is the traditional method. So you're going to need a cake board for your cake to sit on. I'm using this acrylic disc and then you're going to need your styrofoam cake. So I'm using a six inch styrofoam cake here. Excuse how crusty it looks. I've used it over and over again. And now next I'm going to put some of my buttercream. I've got some Swiss meringue buttercream here onto the middle of my cake board. I'm using my offset spatula to help me spread it all out. And then once I'm done, I'm going to place my styrofoam cake onto the middle of my cake board and make sure it's in the middle. And then I'm just giving it a little push from the top to make sure it's stuck to my buttercream. And now I'm going to place this cake into the fridge for about 20 minutes so the buttercream can become firm. So here is my chilled styrofoam cake. You can see the condensation there on my cake board. And what's happened now is because the buttercream is firm, it acts as a glue so that my styrofoam doesn't move around everywhere and make a mess while I'm icing it. This is an important step because if you don't do this, then your styrofoam will move around quite a lot because the styrofoam is really light. So there isn't enough weight to keep it down in one place, unlike a real cake. And now I've just placed a cloth under my cake board because we're slipping around too much. And now I'm just icing the styrofoam cake the same way I would decorate a normal cake. So I'm starting off by icing the top and then I'll go ahead and ice the sides and use my cake scraper and spatula to clean it all up. I'm just doing a bit of a rough job here, so excuse any imperfections. And that's it, that's my fake cake all done and now you can continue to decorate this cake however you like. Now next I'm going to be showing you guys how to use an awesome tool by Prop Options, which makes decorating styrofoam cakes a lot faster, especially if you're doing multiple cakes at one time. A quick shout out to them for gifting me this awesome product. So this tool is called the Cake Compass and it comes with a base cake board, which you can see here. And the great thing about this is it already has little grips on the bottom, so it doesn't move around everywhere when you're decorating. And then in the middle, you can see there's these three little holes. Now these holes are what this metal piece goes through. So I'm going to go ahead and put that through. Now, if you wanna go ahead and start decorating your styrofoam cake now, you can. So you would go ahead and push the styrofoam through the metal spike so that it stays in place. And you can see now that the cake isn't going to go anywhere. So you can skip the whole refrigerator step altogether. Alternatively, the cake compass also comes with different sized discs, which you can use as both extra cake boards if you're decorating multiple cakes, as well as icing guides, which are really helpful for getting nice straight sides, especially when using buttercream or ganache. And you can see they've got the little holes in them too to go through the metal spikes. So I'm using this little 6.25 inch acrylic disc, which is slightly larger than my styrofoam cake, because I'm going to be using it as a guide for my icing. So you can see here, I've got a nice little edge there around the cake, which gives me just enough space to get a nice coat of buttercream on the outside. And now I'm going to go ahead and decorate this cake as I usually would. The only difference is when it comes to scraping the sides, I'm going to put my cake scraper up against the acrylic dust to help guide me so I have a nice straight edge to my cake. Okay, so that's my fake cake all done. Now, when it comes to removing the cake, there's a few ways that you can do this and you can figure out which works best for you. But what I like to do is just pull the middle piece out from the bottom and this releases my cake. And now I'm just placing my cake onto a larger cake board and we'll go into the fridge for at least an hour for the buttercream to set before I can remove the acrylic disc I used as a guide from the bottom. And now your cake compass is free and ready to go again for your next cake. So I needed to make one of my cakes look pretty for my thumbnails, so I'm just going ahead and adding on some fake flowers. 
Now do not do this with soft buttercream like I am here. You definitely want to place your cake into the fridge before doing this. But because this was just for a thumbnail, I didn't bother too much. But as you can see, you can encounter a few problems if your buttercream is too soft. Now you may be wondering why someone would want a fake cake. So fake cakes are usually used for display cakes or large wedding cakes where you only want say one or two of the tears to be a real cake and then the rest to be fake. So this is often a great money saving option when it comes to wanting a big cake for your wedding as well as a more responsible option too sometimes if you know the cake will go to waste because you may not have enough guests to actually consume a huge wedding cake. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.